Hi everyone, today we're going to learn about stingrays. Stingrays are flat fish that swim in the ocean, but their eyes are on top of their head and their nose and mouth are down here. Hmm, let's take a look and see what stingrays look like. Stingrays come in all different sizes and they like to live on the sand. This stingray is round. This stingray is pointed. And this stingray is polka dotted. Can you see where the stingray has his eyes? That's right, they're right here. Can you find the mouth on this stingray? Yes, and right down here are his gills. This is how he breathes. These long wings are how they swim. And on their tail, they sometimes can be poisonous. So be careful, because that means they could hurt you if they feel scared. Have you ever seen a stingray before? I love to watch them swim because they use their wings to swim and it looks like they're flying. Now that we've learned so much about stingrays, why don't we make one ourselves? Here are the things you're going to need to make your very own stingray. You're going to need four paper plates, glue, tape, a black marker, a blue marker, and a chopstick. Now let's move these things out of the way for a second. And we're only going to look at two paper plates right now. Now, these are going to be the top and the bottom of your stingray. So our top needs to be blue. But we also need to use our black marker to make the eyes. So let's do that right now. There we go. And now for this, it's going to be our bottom, so we need to flatten it out. And we're going to draw our mouth and gills on the bottom. So first, we draw our smiley face. And then a nose. And our gills. They have six lines for gills. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now we have our top and bottom. And they go like this. You can see I reused one of my paper plates from a craft before. Beautiful. Now grab your other two plates and we need to flatten those out too because stingrays are very flat. Now that they're all flat, we're going to get our chopstick and our blue marker. And we're gonna color it. Bam bam! All colored, and so are my fingers. Now we have a blue chopstick that is going to be our tail. So, let's tape our chopstick to our plate. But wait, hold on! We need to make sure that we're on the right place on our plate. Uh-oh, that's not where a tail goes. Our smiley face should be on the other side. There. Now tape down your tail. One more piece, just to make sure it's nice and secure. And we have our tail. Now it's time to grab our glue. 
we're going to stack all of our plates on top of each other. So use a lot of glue for this part. Glue, 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 smush, 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 glue, 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 smush, 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 and then on the very top we need to put our blue plate with our eyes. Now we're going to let that dry a little bit. And then, when it's all nice and dry and secure, we're going to fold our sides so that it looks like our stingray is flying. You don't have to crease them, you're just folding them so that they stay in certain directions. It's up to you which way is flying. And there we have it! Our happy little stingray! I think he's ready for a swim. What do you think? Alright stingray, let's see what you can do. Here he comes! Wow, he's so graceful! Go little stingray, fly! Bye bye my stingray is swimming through the water. Can you make your stingray swim? <gasps> is he going fast or slow? Whoa. Hmm. All right, my friends. I'll see you next time.